The Align tool enables you to match the position, rotation, and scale of two objects based on criteria you specify. When you need to align two objects, you select the object you wish to relocate first, and then using the Align tool, you click on the target object. By default, 3ds Max attempts to align the two objects in all three directions, X, Y, and Z, using their respective pivot point as reference. In this case, the pivot points of the building blocks happen to be at their bottom centers. You can change the reference to align the two objects based on their 3D centers. By clicking OK, the dialog closes and the source object is relocated. Often, you need to align two objects using varied constraints. As an example, you may want the bottom of the tower to be aligned with the top of the base. In such a case, you are looking at a height-only translation based on the z-axis. With the z-axis alone enabled, you can force the minimum value lowest z-value of the tower to be aligned with the maximum value highest point of the base. Usually, you do not need to exit the dialog to force changes. To place the tower on the corner of the base building, you can start by aligning the two as usual. Work on each axis independently. Start with X and align the minimum value left side of the tower to the minimum value left side of the base. By clicking the Apply button, you are confirming the changes without exiting the dialog. Any previously enabled axis is now unchecked and you are ready to make further changes. For example, you can now enable the Y axis and set the mode to use maximum values for both objects. This aligns the back sides of the two buildings together. In addition to aligning in position mode, you can also reorient one object to another. Center back the tower to the base by aligning it in X and Y center to center. The tower is already at the correct height, so you do not need to change the Z-axis. Using the Move tool, set the coordinate system to Local Mode. This will let you properly view the orientation of the selected object. Notice the difference in orientation between the tower and this green car. You can align the orientation of the tower to that of the car without relocating the tower at all. With the tower selected, use the Align tool and choose the car as a target. By default, the Align tool tries to relocate the source object based on the last Align command you used. Disable all axes in the position group. The tower goes back to its original place. Align the orientation using the X axis. The X axis is now the same for both objects, but the tower is vertically flipped. Also, the Y and Z axes don't match. Repeat the procedure, only this time make sure both X and Y are enabled. For good measure, and always when forcing the same orientation for both objects, enable all three orientation axes. The tower, like the car, is now rotated 45 degrees. Aligning scale is less often used. It matches the scale of a source object to that of a target object using the same principles learned here.